The cool cube has now been about three hours with the current ice packs and is holding at 34 to 36 degrees. That will be a bit higher when the lid is being opened and closed to remove vaccine, but it will still be within range, I predict. I will now do a comparison with an infrared thermometer against the different ice packs against this vaccine temperature of 36.5 degrees Fahrenheit. The vaccine bottle in the interior of the foam is running at 49, 47, 49, 48.5. The walls are 50, 49, 52, and 49. So the temperature is pretty evenly distributed throughout the chamber. Lifting up on these strings allows you to raise the ice pack in order to replace it and freeze it overnight. Uh, the ice pack is measuring 43, 46, 47 degrees on that ice pack. You can see there is some liquid in there. I'd estimate that maybe half of this is um, thawed out, but the center part that I'm pressing on is very firm and still frozen. Um, compared to over here, it's definitely squishy. The ice packs are measuring, this other one's measuring about 46 to 52. You'll notice that there is some condensation. So on top of the cardboard on the bottom, I put some tin foil to try and protect the cardboard from getting wet. This one you can also see has some condensation um, uh, you can see some moisture on the cardboard on the inside, so the cooler should be stored where um, periodically where the air can circulate and dry it out. It's not clear whether the condensation is on the outside of the um, outside wall or on the inside cardboard. This cardboard looks pretty dry, and the condensation on this ice pack was... Um, on the exterior surface. So overall, for periods of uh, four to six hours at a time, this unit is looking OK. Um, one thing, the space inside here is only five inches. So I didn't realize if we have a syringe that when the plunger is pulled out is going to be more than five inches, we're going to have to store them in sideways. I felt the foam provided enough cushioning, uh, and there are other foam packs and material that can be used. Uh, my suggestion is if you put a couple of syringes in there, um, this can just tuck in. Uh, you want to make sure that it doesn't push up too high and um, raise the lid too much. But if that's happening, it has, the device has these straps, which Hold it down, and then the zipper provides an extra level. Get it. Mm. Oh, that was interesting. Okay. So this corner needed to be on the edges, and then I can grab the zipper tab. Pulling it from the right takes it around. You'll see where the log tag sensor cable comes out. And then the log tag fits inside a little plastic pouch on the top. I have other holders and things, but I think that overall this is going to work out to be a very good system. Every time you um, have an event or anything you want to make a note of later, just push this mark button. Um, this is the review button. I'm sorry, that's the review button. And if there had been any excursions, it would have told you. 
it is now going, you can see it says the minimum. Then when I push it again, it says it's reached a maximum of 43.8. And then press it again. And it goes to the minimum. These buttons, you have to put a fair amount of direct pressure right on that circle with the flat of your finger. Some people have been using their thumb, which then can damage the plastic. So it's better to either use the flat of your finger or if you're having difficulty, um, I don't have a pin, but I'll use my thermometer. Just anything that's, um, that you can then apply pressure. You can see it going. And now I'll just finish setup because I've finished this training. And I'm going to hold down the stop button. Let me do it with my finger. Push down. You see that it starts that flashing stopping. Or it says stopped. Once that stopped is... I held it too long, so it didn't register. So now I have to do it again. It says stop. Once it does that, then I let go of it quickly, and it is actually stopped. That is to prevent, um, in case somebody leans on this or puts weight on the button, um, it won't stop your lock tag. When you return this, uh, you want to make sure that any information for your clinic uh, uses the last four digits of the log tag and the name. Um, this is going to be Cool Cube One. Uh, and I think I'll put a sticker on here to label that as Cool Cube One. Thanks for watching the video.